All right, we're gonna be playing uh, the new Arkham Horror Mother's Embrace game. Um, just ahead of time, I'm gonna say that I did play through this already to make sure I didn't look like a total scrub uh, on, on recording, but uh, I'm glad I did that because there are a few puzzles that would not have been pleasant to watch me cuss and scream at for the 40 minutes or so they took. So, um, I'm That's thinking what I'm going to play Jim Culver here. Uh, there's a lot of the Dunwich guys uh, available uh, with Zoe. Uh, I should show off. Show there's off no time here. like a present. There's Harvey Walters. Move aside, boys. Jenny it's my Barnes. turn. That's my cue to play. Jim Culver. I'm ready to investigate. Kate Winthrop. I'm prepared. Safina. I'm not even going to try to say her it's last name. It's my time in the spot. Uh, Will Yorick. I need the Zoe Samaras. Um, I, I'm ready to I, That's my cue to play. I really like Jim in the card game, so uh, we're gonna play Jim. I'll shut up so you can listen to the intro. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Wilhelmina Tillingest, professor of astronomy at Miskatonic University. All my life I have dedicated myself to the study of celestial objects. Most recently I visited Louisiana to observe the passage of a comet I had observed for many years. I hoped the trip would provide me with the evidence required to conclude my decades-long research. Yesterday, you received my telegram requesting that you meet me at my house, just outside Arkham. And so, you've decided to join me in my mansion. Professor Tillingus must like the blues more than those stuffed shirts at Miskatonic University if she called me out here for a performance. You don't see that too often in an elderly lady. Welcome to my mansion, my friend. I'd better ring the bell. Awfully late for a house call. But it wouldn't be Arkham if we didn't. Maybe she's hard of hearing. Oh, how rude of me to make you wait like this. I wonder whether something's wrong. Oh man, I wonder if the trailer spoiled that something's wrong. There's a light coming wrong. from that second floor window. She must be home. The door's locked. I ought to find a way in to check on her. Yeah, I mean, I guess this was before life alert, so there's no other way to check on someone. Um, click on some of the, uh... Ah, game freaks out sometimes. I've discovered a roundabout. Awesome. Let's see if there's anything with the car. The engine appears cold, so she hasn't been driving around. Good to know, good to know. All right, let's see if we can climb up here. Uh, a box beneath the first floor window seems to invite you to take that way inside, but it looks to be shut tight. It's no problem to reach the window, but it's shut tight. I'd need to smash the glass to get inside. I hope you aren't thinking what I fear you're thinking. What I need is something heavy to smash this window. Uh, she's she's obviously got money. She doesn't need uh she, she'll be fine, she'll be fine. Okay, we found a wire cutter. We're not gonna cut any wires with it. We're just gonna Oh How bust dare window. you smashed my window. It's an appropriate window. I hope reaction. you intend to have it replaced. Uh, yeah, with the money I hope this really pay. is an emergency and the professor forgives me. Anyway, I can't apologize until I find her. Where would she be? Snoop around her house. I'm investigating, right? 
jazz man. I could play piano, I'm sure. Actually, I have no idea. They're probably incredibly different instruments. Large ping of a comet. Comets seem to be a theme here. And, uh, Broken vase. The professor must have heard it fall. She wouldn't have just left it here. I certainly would not. I take pride in a clean and tidy abode, especially when expecting visitors. I'd better find her. Okay. So, this is a kind of cool mechanic here. If you guess wrong, you uh, tick this little clock up. Uh, I think I put it together. Yeah, and then uh, if you guess wrong too many times throughout the course of an investigation, um, basically like it's like drawing an encounter card from uh, the card game. That screen came from upstairs. That sounds like my voice. I must need help. Professor, was that you? Of course it was. Hurry! No answer. There must be someone else in the house. Now, the tutorial's weird and it tells you to, like, move this knife over in a weird way, like, from then on, I could just use my mouse to do it. That knife might come in handy if I run into for trouble. For some reason. What on earth are you doing with my letter opener? Why is your letter opener a butcher knife? That's not... Okay. Try to go... The screen must have come from the other side of this door. That's my office door. Gotta go find a key. Um, I'm gonna check that my graphic. Yeah, for some reason it turns your graphics down. Uh, I can't get it to save my graphics choices here for some weird reason. Um, yeah, every time I turn the game on, it seems to do that. Oh, we're in the bathroom. really clean mirror. Uh, okay, yeah, this is cool. So if you have the right uh, skill, they'll tell you which is the right way to open it. But sometimes the terminology sucks and you mess up anyway. Breaking the lock seems inelegant, but it may be effective. So force the lock, I'm assuming. Yay, we get it. So yeah, and like I was saying, you can just drag and drop items after the t that first little show you how to do a thing. I don't know why it shows you how to do it wrong. Uh, what's at the end of the hall? Oh, a bedroom. Uh, see, so he doesn't have physical, so he guesses. He, he can't, uh... So we're gonna try to force it open. So yeah, see that ticks up. And she has to find it full of books lying atop a single sheet of paper which is written a recipe for apple fritters. I wonder if these are all like real recipes from the 20s or something? Um, or if there's some sort of like plot hook that I don't, I never understood. Uh, cigarettes heal sanity but they hurt you uh, just like in real life. Uh, don't smoke. Um, or do, whatever, it's your life. If you're watching this you're probably old enough. Um, okay. Toys, some sort of baby's room. Uh, the camera doesn't rotate in a few of the rooms. I don't, I don't know why. It reminds me of, like Resident Evil. About to get murdered. Oh, 
what's next? It's rolling. Who's there? I'll ask the questions. Roland Banks, Bureau of Investigation. I'm on the job. Who are you? And what's your reason for being here? What would a federal agent want with me? I do like that she, like, is narrating from the beyond professor the grave. had some idea of hiring me to perform some music for her. I'm Jim Culver. When she didn't answer the door, I got worried and came in. Then I heard her scream and came upstairs. Seems like I'm on the right track. Something hinky's going on here. Is Professor Tillingus a suspect in some crime? She's only a person of interest. The Bureau has evidence that others are trying to involve her in some shady business. I came to find out what she knows, if anything. Then I heard the scream, too. Seems we need a key to get inside that room. I wasn't prepared for so many guests today. I'll help you find that key. I understand it's a tutorial and they want to show us things, but I'm pretty sure Roland should be able to just kick the door in. Uh, no, she, the little journal, uh, sometimes it's from her point of view, like if she's met the character or not. Let's just sit there and read that for a second, if you want to pause or whatever. Um, and these are, these are the like, like, uh, combat stats. Like if they're strong in a thing, they do better. Like he's strong in range, so it costs him less to fire, but like he's weak in magic, so it costs him more to use magic. It's kind of a neat, uh, little mechanic. See, like he's similarly strong in the same spots. So yeah, interesting. Uh... No advice. Let's uh, move things around. Good guess. Uh, we found the key. There's a key on this mobile. My files say Dillingus has no children. If that's true, why would she need a nursery? The professor always wished for children, even long after she grew too old to have them. Oh, I can't say it isn't true. I wish people were less prone to idle gossip. Exactly, she's being murdered in the next room and you guys are chit-chatting about whether or not she had kids. Men. The worst. Yeah, there's this like creepy red line and mist coming out of it if there's bad guys in the room, so I didn't find that out for a hot minute. What? No! Who? An intruder! How many people can I expect to break into my house today? Who are you? Listen, pal, you've got some explaining to do. Come then, I have just the explanation you deserve. Tough words from that guy. You constantly lose sanity at the start of a fight. I hate it. And like it's saying there, you get these little action points and different abilities cost different actions. Um, I'm gonna move up on this guy because all I have is a letter opener and I'm gonna knife him. And then, Roland is going to do the gun thing. Killed a man in the living room. I'm sure that's perfectly legal. What's going on? <laughs> we'll you better have whatever. a look inside. Before that look inside, there was some more bandages. Uh, we'll give these to Roland for now. Reload. Oh yeah, you can reload in between fights and stuff. It's something important to keep in mind that I'm bad at. Good and shooter games are terrible in this game. Who in blazes are you? What happened here? Is that... Wait. It's me. That is, it, it's my body. 
That's Professor Tillingus, all right. She won't be telling me much anymore. <laughs> That's cold, Roland. We need to stop them. Jen's the sensible one, apparently. Oh. I swear I had less uh, sanity than that. So, I guess we'll walk it up. And we'll split the damage around awkwardly. Wasn't there a lady? Oh, that's the lady. Okay. Knife this guy. Um, we'll just shoot him so the gym doesn't get cut. Actually, because then she'll just beat up on good old Jim here. I will overwatch. Uh, and you can kind of angle it. That blue area there. Oh! Right in the head. After all the characters have had it. Yeah. So each round of a combat, like the longer it goes, the more chance you are to draw an encounter card or whatever, a mythos event or something they're called. No, I don't want to move that far. No, okay, here. Is that far enough? Yeah! Oh no, Jim killed his first person. Potentially, who knows? Who were those Actually. cold figures? This wasn't just a burglary. You're right about that. Must be connected to my investigation. We better have a look around. Okay. Oh, no, wait. All right, well, we'll look at this while we're at it. No advice here, so we're gonna do a look. Hope it was right. Oh, we lose a sanity for it, but it was the right call. The mythos doesn't creep up. Deep when her abdomen appears to be the cause of death, judging by the wetness, it appears she was killed recently. How do you feel your mind shatter? Poor Professor Tillingist. Such a terrible death. That is pretty gruesome for, like, the graphical Despite quality of this game. Despite my age, I had much more to do in life. This wound on her stomach? It looks like she was knifed. Well, I mean, it could have been something other than a knife, but that's fair to say. Large glyphs been painted on the floor, apparently in blood. You are certain uh, this was deliberately killed above it. We aren't certain of this why. What's this weird symbol drawn on the floor? Is that blood? My nice, clean floor ruined. <laughs> that looks like some kind of cult symbol. This ain't a garden variety burglary. Um, pardon me if you can hear my little neighbor kids playing outside. Uh, couldn't get my noise suppressor to work today, but I'll be working on it in the future. Maybe there's a weak spot. Find flaws, I'm gonna assume. Inside the drawer, tucked various notebooks at a glance, you find nothing related to the murder, but it's clear that Professor Tillingus was in the habit of recording even trivial events in her life. Look at these notebooks. Is this the professor's handwriting? It is, but how would you know? There's no useful information here, but perhaps Professor Tillingus kept notes on this material in another location. Oh, and see, then there's like clues in the little notebook and stuff. It's so, like these are the main objectives, um, quest items that we found, additional info. Uh, we should be able to put together the objects, so we'll put together. Miska Uni Skill Lab. I wonder where that is. I hope this broken glass doesn't mean there's been trouble. What? She's been murdered. Yeah, a broken jaw, a flask. 
I can make out a few letters. Miska, Uni, S Lab. Miskatonic University Science Lab. That's simple enough. We found everything we're liable to find here. Time to see where the evidence leads us. And so, my friend set out to discover how I was killed. Nice little opening. I thought it set the scene really well while still like, being a tutorial. to say same. Enter the mansion, find her. There were no secondary objectives this time. You can only have three investigators. I really wish it was four. Um, but, uh, oh well. Maybe that's something they can patch in later. Maybe it's my today. office makes it clear you must visit Miskatonic University. Not only did I work there, the broken jar came from the university lab. Why did those strange men need it? Whatever the answer, you're sure to find it at Miskatonic. And then you can just pick your investigators in between. Uh, you always move around as whoever's in the number one slot. So I'm going to pick Jim. And uh, we'll bring Roland along. Yep, those are who I want to bring. And then you get to pick their equipment. Give Roland the smokes and the gun. Give Jim the knife and the bandages. And we're good to go. Welcome to Miskatonic University, home of the prestigious Orn Library, which includes the country's largest collection of occult books. I once studied here as a student, later donning the mantle of professor and passing along all I learned to the next generation of astronomy students. This place was like a second home to me. Perhaps the things I left behind will provide you with clues to the answers you seek. Science and astrophysics sounds like a lot of math. I'd rather do my counting bar to bar. <laughs> oh, it has changed over the years. But no place feels more like home to me. Not even my little house. That is not a little house, lady. The secretary said Professor Norman Withers could give us access to Professor Tillinger's office. But what do we expect to find? We won't know until we look. Norman Withers. All right, let's brace this Withers character and find out what's what. Ever paid attention to whatever that is. Huh. Okay. Let's check out this. Trophies. Map of the school. That shot, like, uh, picks an unconscious person back up during a fight. 
Oh no, she was reading weird old books. I wonder if that's why she got killed by people in robes. Here's Tillingist's office on the left. Withers to the right. They must have known each other pretty well. Professor Tillingist's door is locked. But of course, my friend. Academics are no less prone to snooping around each other's secrets. Some have even been known to steal a colleague's research and present it as their own. We'd better ask Withers for the key. I'm not sure if that's supposed to imply that Withers has done that. I, I'm very confused. Check out the books. Alright. I'm not gonna look at everything every time because uh, it's really bad for your sanity to do that. Which is annoying, but it's also kind of cool. I say no, Agatha. You will pardon me for saying I have never believed your methods to be the least bit scientific. I refuse to believe that Wilhelmina would have. Oh, they're talking about me. Norman and I were colleagues for years, so naturally we addressed each other by our Christian names. You, of course, may call me Professor Tillingust. Yes, what is it? How can I help you? Pardon the intrusion, Professor Withers. We're investigating Professor Tillingust's death, and we- Not again. Can't an old man mourn his friend in peace? Oh. These constant intrusions by reporters and police and garden variety busybodies. As I told your friends earlier, I do not wish to be disturbed. Listen, pal. Wait just a moment, Norman. Something tells me these people aren't the same as the others. Look at their eyes. They've seen things beyond the quotidian. Oh, forgive my manners. I'm Professor Agatha Crane. And you seem to know of my colleague, Professor Norman Withers. Something tells me you've seen Wilhelmina, haven't you? Uh, that is, Professor Tillingist. Agatha, for heaven's sake, stop this nonsense! No, Professor Withers, she's right. We have seen unusual things. We arrived too late to save Professor Tillingist, but we've seen evidence that whatever happened to her was unnatural to say the least. We intend to get to the bottom of it. I told you, Norman, that box could hold more than knickknacks and jujaws. I, for one, want to see it for myself. You there, come with me. What? Where are you going, you, you, you confounded parapsychologist? To the observatory. Wait here, Norman. I know you won't want to be disturbed further. So she's got social and willpower. She's average at everything but initiative. Oh, and then they all each have their own power. Like, she makes the whole group better at initiative. So, like, while she's in your party, you should be going first. Um, I'm gonna see what he's hiding from us. I'm just gonna steal his bullets right in front of him. He doesn't seem to mind. <laughs> Pointing right into the sun. Great, good job. I think if we talk to him, he doesn't tell us anything new. Can't imagine what you'd expect to find out there. I've only got an entire novella about things I've found. Let's see if I help you with the Tindalos hounds. Wait, do I go... I think I go this way. I could be super wrong. That'll be embarrassing. Ah, the old observatory. Don't be fooled by its antiquated fixtures, my friends. Of course, the new Gerald Warren Astronomical Observatory is a technological marvel, but I shall always remember this one more fondly. Through these telescopes, I first gazed with wonder at the stars and the vast voids between them. A wrench for smacking people up. 
A book of restraint. Uh, she was average, I think. Could it be? Yes, these glyphs indicate gestures of power, of magic. This, my friends, is a grimoire, a book of spells. What it is doing at the university, I cannot say. But we mustn't let this opportunity go to waste. We must see whether these spells work. Perhaps one could improvise a key. A little elbow grease, you find the box. Here is the mysterious box. The label marks it as belonging to Professor Tillingist. What are these strange things inside? This symbol. It was in Professor Tillingist's room. You've seen this symbol in Wilhelmina's room, haven't you? It is similar to the iconography of ancient pagan rituals. Here is proof that Wilhelmina's research went beyond known science and into the realm of the paranormal. Many of our colleagues questioned Agatha's unorthodox avenues of research. But none questioned her resolve. Once she sets her mind to a goal, nothing can stop her. We must show this to Norman. Only then will he help us. Look here, Norman. See the odd things in this box of Wilhelmina's? Whatever she was researching, it was far more than that comet. I don't see what this has to do with her death. It's because you're not you looking. saw a sign identical to the one on this box in the room where Professor Tillingus was killed. I must admit that seems far too unlikely to be mere coincidence. Very well. You have my attention and my help. Wilhelmina left Arkham earlier this year, and I received this box. After hearing no word from her, I became concerned, and I, I confess, I briefly searched her office for some indication of the purpose of her travel. Oh, Norman, you dear fool. I was only gone a week. Why did you worry so? Unfortunately, I couldn't make sense of her notes. They made no sense to me. I did sense a whiff of the occult about them, which I admit made me uneasy. One horn's never as good as a whole band. We should play this tune together until we find out what's at the end. You're right, of course. You yeah, take the key to Wilhelmina's office. While you have a look in there, I'll pour over these notes again. What was that sound? Oh. It came from next door. My office? Who's in there? More cultists, I bet. Or another investigator, maybe that'd be cool. I have that link. What was that commotion? There's nobody here. Someone beat us to it. The room's been searched. And recently. Just look at this mess. Someone has ransacked my office. Look there. Even the safe is broken open. Now they're on the lam. We gotta nab them before they get off campus. Whoever it is must be dangerous. You must protect the students. And once again, I'm in a complete hurry. Oh yeah, I recovered your sanity, but my sanity's at max. That's sick. Forced open, nothing left in the safe. Alistair Crowley, there's a song about him. House by the railroad. 
I think there's like a like an Easter egg, like Safina painted this for her or something. Or maybe it was the one in her house. Judging by their clothes, these are the same people who are in the professor's house. They're the ones who looted her office. Stop them. Who are these interlopers? Deal with them while the others escape. So yeah, they're both strong in initiative and then Agatha gives them a further bonus. Oh, and see, she passed and he passed that time. So that was his little uh, character bonus makes him, uh, makes the party more resistant to, uh, makes the party more resistant to uh, willpower saves. Nathan. We've got enough bullets to start the last in folks now. Oh, he didn't quite die. Uh, and then we will overwatch this corner. Now she can go. She's got a restraint. Nah, she should just walk up and approach this guy. Because I think it's funny to have the old lady just dropping people. Oh, it's too close to Jim. Okay. Punch. Wham! Just dropped the guy. <laughs> this guy gets shot. Blam! For seven, not bad. Oh! Not good either. It's not okay. Let's have Jim walk up on him. He's gotta go there. Knife the bad guy. Not quite enough to kill him. Roland can take a shot, fortunately. And that put him down. So you can crit and do a bunch of damage, which is nice. That scream is coming from down the corridor. Oh no, the students! Must be one of those weird burglars. Let's go! Weird burglars? Oh. He passed, but he failed again. Uh... Oh. That scream came from right around here. This was Wilhelmina's classroom. It sounds as though some students have locked themselves in. Who? Who's out there? It's me, Professor Crane. Are you all right in there? We're safe, but some strange people attacked us. We managed to barricade ourselves inside. You stay put until we've dealt with them. Did you see which way they were heading? They ran down the next corridor. Be careful, Professor. They look dangerous. After we handle those burglars, we should come back here. If this was Professor Tillingist's classroom, we might find clues inside. I like how they say handle, but we're actually just going to murder them. Uh, empty. More ammo. We're gonna need it. More smokes. Roland's gonna need him before long. Um. Come here, you! Help me! We must protect the students. Yeah, it's nice you can use like healing spells on Help these guys me! if you need to. So we'll step to here or so. And we'll overwatch like this. Anyone who tries to slip past him? He'll knife him. Uh, we're gonna need to reload next round though. This guy's got the least health. Maybe a shot from him will make it so Jim could kill him. We'll overwatch the hall. Whichever these jerks moves first. 
we're gonna use our Book of Restraint, but we've gotta move first. Okay, so we'll move up to here. And we'll restrain the guy with the pipe, I think. Yeah, I think that pipe's gonna do more damage than the knife. It's like a wild cast it's called where like you might heal someone or damage your own guys or sometimes you heal your own guys like it's not always bad but it's often bad Roland busts a cap in that guy and then Jim takes a knife oh but he's still gonna hit the kid with it <sighs> that's frustrating I could have paid better attention to their initiative order I guess And we're gonna have probably no way to avoid a, a mythos event. Uh, that should go on this guy because it might kill him. Yep, just enough. I mean, the combat's pretty simple. There's a little bit of uh, like tactics to it. Um, I don't think that kid's in any risk of dying. So let's move back. Let's see if we can draw him into Roland's... Oh, he's not going to be able to overwatch this turn, though. Because he's got to start the turn reloading. So we'll shoot at that guy, I guess. Because he's got the least health. Not enough. But... Heave-ho. Oh, she's got to move up. Uh, let's put her in the way if we're going to bother moving. And then, oh, she's got, she's got the pipe wrench. It's overkill for this guy, but it'll be funny. Just club him in the side of the head. Contact me from the other side. Oh, I'm at this event. So, all investigators must check their sanity. You seem to take a sanity anyway, um, so that's not the worst one we can get. They'll like give like combat boosts and penalties throughout the, the thing. Help me! He just stands there. It'd be nice if he like moved more or like was useful at all. Jim, get him. Way. I don't think they actually block uh, block shots. Oh, he didn't die. Now he will. <laughs> it's 24 damage in two shots. Just crit, crit. Roland's awesome. Are you all right? Thank you. I think I'll be fine. It's mostly shock. This was just a diversion. We need to catch up to the men that were in Professor Tillingist's office. Yeah, see, so you, you get punished sometimes for just clicking everything, so I gotta... I gotta resist the urge, but sometimes it's bullets. Are you hurt? No, just bruised. Which way did they go? They ran right into that classroom. Everyone's taking sandy loss. We don't want those. No one's that badly hurt. Alright, so we'll get ready to go in there uh, for the next episode.